Ready guys, real quick. Y'all see this Ram 1500? Got 5.7 Hemi. Guys, I worked on this truck, what, about two months ago? Did a cam and lift the job. It was ticking. No, it's not back for ticking. However, it is back and the customer think it's a recheck. But I want to show y'all something. Y'all see that? 5W20. That is what this engine calls for, guys. This engine uses a oil temperature switch as well as an oil pressure sensor to calculate the engine oil weight. That is important. This engine is equipped with MDS, so it is very important that you use the correct weight of oil now they back for check engine light on all right uh they saying they seem to think it's the recheck but it's not y'all see that uh check engine light right there now let me show y'all something do y'all see this code 1521 guys incorrect engine oil type 1520 low oil pressure guys stop experimenting with your oil okay when i did this engine made this repair you can see 144 um, well, it's not zooming, but when I made this repair, I know good and damn well I went in with the correct weight of oil. Obviously, the customer went and got an oil change. Now we're here. Yeah, y'all see that Hemi 57 Hemi on this truck. Y'all remember the video I did yesterday about these two sensors right here, guys? These are the snitch sensors, okay? These sensors will tell the computer that you are using the wrong viscosity weight of oil. Remember, guys, this engine has MDS. Now, this car came in with a check engine light on code P1521. Wrong engine oil use. All right, now you probably can very well fix that by simply using the correct oil right but because this car has a lot of miles this truck has a lot of miles i'm going to replace the sensors and i'm going back in with seven quarts guys this is a hemi you take seven quarts of oil mopar y'all see that mopar Pro max pro guys and a mopar filter all right i'm about to change the oil now as far as these sensors they're not hard to replace at all they're down right here but i find it easier to do them with the vehicle in the air so i'm going to let it back up now guys as far as the oil that you should use or the weight viscosity please try to stick with 5w20 i'm not sure why you guys fight with the engineers argue with the engineers remember this engine uses four mds solenoids so that special weight of oil is crucial all righty guys y'all saw that hashtag short video all right, guys, we're getting ready to let this 57 Hemi up in the air. Remember, P1521, guys. All right, wrong engine oil used. But we're going to replace the oil temperature sensor as well as the oil pressure sensor, all right? Uh, like I say, it's easy for me to do it from the bottom. Uh, everybody's different. If you don't have a lift, you're forced to do it from the top. Now, what are they hiding this damn thing? Right here, guys. There's the temperature. That sensor right there detects the temperature of the oil, and the one in the front tells the computer the pressure. Where is that? Right there. Y'all see that? I'm gonna zoom in real quick. So that one tells the pressure of the oil. Now, uh, here they are right here. Like I say, since some of you guys wanna watch this stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and yank that out. Or I might get it from the bottom. This is a different model. It all depends on the model, guys. But I'm right here. Why not? Plus, besides, I got to change the oil, guys. Remember, uh, we going in with uh, the correct oil. We don't play those games over here, all right? Y'all see this? Yeah, Mopar Max Pro 5W20. The engine calls for 5W20. Why on earth would you guys use a different grade of viscosity of oil when you know the damn engine is equipped with MDS solenoid? that function best if the correct weight of oil is being used so, but some of you guys tend to like to fight it but this hemi will be around forever a long time considering i just did a cam and block or cam and lift the job on it all right so they shouldn't have any problems out of this engine in a long time that's the most problematic part of the engine guys of this this year model this um this version of the hemi all right so once those uh outdated lifters the needle bearing inside of the roller bearing collapse okay and the lifter will collapse and drop and start eating into the camshaft load when that happens you can end up with a misfire or a ticking noise all right so with that cam and lifter job being done that's likely the last time we will be going into the engine from an internal standpoint all right, the valve train has been reconditioned. All right, we went in with the uh, latest and greatest lifter. Guys, the lifter has been revised. Okay, I'm gonna use the term revised, meaning they are rebuilt. Okay, using, I don't know if they use different vendors or how that went about, but they, um, the previous vendor got some, t <laughs> yeah, they got a handle on it. Okay, so in my opinion, they are much better now that I have yet to do one again that I've already done. In other words, if I do a cam and lift the job on your Hemi, chances are I will never have to see that car again for 
a cam and lifter job or a lifter job. The lifter is what comes apart, guys. It's the thing about the camshaft. The camshaft should never need to be replaced unless it's damaged. All right, we don't. We're not just replacing the camshaft because, you know, what I'm saying they they wear out or they go bad. <laughs> no, they become damaged from worn out or not even worn out from poorly built valve train parts. In this case, the lifters. Okay, so. The camshaft only getting replaced simply because it is damaged. If we pull this camshaft out or we look at these loads real good and they don't have no, any flaws on them, the camshaft can be reused, guys. I don't know. If you ever have a lifter or ticking noise or valve train noise and you perform teardown, you pull everything out and find out there's absolutely nothing wrong with the cam camshaft, you can reuse that. But some people just, I don't know, I guess it's a mental thing. No. Why are you in there? You might as well replace it. <clears throat> but you're going in with the same kind of camshaft. The camshaft haven't been revised or changed or anything. All right. Again, you only replace that because it is damaged. All right. So let me grab some tools, man. Y'all, anybody want to watch this? Hang on in there. All right. Newbies like to watch this stuff. I'm about to change these sensors and I'm about to change this oil and filter. Where's my filter? This is a Hemi. Where they hide the freaking filter? Right there. In fact, that's good because I can take that off and then that sensor will be real easy to get to. Going to work out great. All right, guys, I got work to do. Y'all stay tuned. This one is extremely easy, all right, and I am going to do both, all right. So it's fairly easy. I don't know if y'all want to hang around and watch me do it. It's no big deal. Just put a socket on it and unscrew them, all right. So let's get it.